y'all barrett mopar here or barrett five for my psn name and as y'all can see right yonder i finished first in this here sprint event for drive club so i'll show y'all how i did it step by step and maybe y'all can learn something from this and be able to go as fast or if not even faster so hope y'all enjoy this and learn something and here we go there's quite a few of these where I'm close to the top, but this one I finished at the very top, so I figured I'd do this one first. If y'all want me to do some others that I'm close to the top in, I can. Just leave it down below, but I figured I'd do this one first, because y'all would most likely rather see a winning lap rather than, say, a fifth place lap or drift or whatever. So, here y'all go. This is one that I won with about 130 or 40-something people in it, so I hope y'all enjoy as y'all can see right here, this car is the Wombat Typhoon. And its most important feature is it has Nitro. The default button for Nitro is Triangle, but obviously that'll change if you change the button. So just whatever button your Nitro is, remember to use it because this car has it. And because this starts out on a nice straight bit, use it until it gets off the straight bit right there. And then start angling your car into the turn, as you can see there. Obviously, don't hit the, the very side there, and don't go too up high, because if you go too up high, you're going to hit the other bit up there. I've done both quite a bit. I'd say I've hit that more than I've hit that, but I've still hit both quite a bit. So just practice makes perfect on that. And going into that turn there, do not use nitro here. Save it for the main straight. Try to get your car angled out as far as you can to the right, but not quite on or past that little, I, I guess that's sort of a line there. Don't hit that because your car loses grip. And then angle it towards the next apex, as you can see right there. But again, don't hit that part. I've hit that many, many times, too many to count. And also don't go too wide and hit that. I've done that quite a bit too. Once again, practice makes perfect, but just get as close as possible without hitting it, because then if you get as close as possible without hitting it, you can carry as much momentum as possible to get as close to that part without hitting it as you can. And then once you get your car fully straight, you can get on the nitro again, and then prepare for the next corner. For the next corner, just slowly transition your way towards that wall, but obviously do not hit that wall until about this point. I know wall riding is kind of cheaty, but, well, this car for some reason needs it. There are some cars that don't need it for this track, and there's some videos up with me doing this particular sprint event where I don't wall ride. Y'all can look in the Drive Club folder to find those on my YouTube channel. But this car seems to like it. I don't know why. Just the drive club physics, I guess. So just wall ride starting at about this point. Do not use nitro. Again, save it for the straightaway. And then if everything goes well, your car would ping back off the wall at about this point. This is the optimum point to do so because you're pretty much on the straight now. And now that you're on the straight, just hit the nitro again and smooth sailing to the finish line, most likely than not. And so that's the lap completed. Just most importantly, practice. As the old saying goes, practice makes perfect, which is kind of sort of true. I, I wouldn't even really say my lap was completely perfect. I mean, as y'all can see, right, where I'll get to the point in a minute. A wall road there, got off the wall, and then just barely clipped the wall again. So it wasn't exactly perfect, but I mean, that was probably only a mile an hour, so I barely hit it. But just practice to the point of where you think you're as perfect as you're going to get. That's what I've learned. Don't try to shoot for an expectation that you're not going to get. Just try to keep on improving to the point of you think you've improved as much as possible. And once you're to that point, maybe you're to a point that nobody else can improve more than you can. And so you've done good enough. The... Obviously, you want to go as fast in racing as possible, but really, all you truly need is to go faster than the other guys. If you win by a millisecond, that's the same as winning by a mile, even though those are two different increments of measurement, but nonetheless, just practice to the point of where you feel good about your lap, and maybe, just maybe, it'll be better than everyone else's lap. 
So I hope you all learned something from this. And, well, I'll go to the lap as a whole so you all can see it. And I hope you all enjoyed this. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to beat this lap someday yourself. So just keep on practicing. Keep on improving. And most importantly, keep on having fun, folks. Yeehaw!